Hi there, I'm Dave Householder, and I am blessed to be your Bible teacher. And today, I'm going to remove a stumbling block, which gets in the way of our prayer life growing. A lot of us believe that we have to be super respectful with God, and we don't dare tell him when we are frustrated with him. Well, the book of Habakkuk is about a prophet who is frustrated with God. This is back in the Old Testament days. And would you believe how he starts this book? And you're going to hear this. You'll never forget it. And you'll always associate it with Habakkuk. Chapter 1, verse 1. This is the message that the prophet Habakkuk received from the Lord in a vision. And here's Habakkuk. How long, O Lord, must I call for help? But you do not listen. Violence, I cry, but you do not come to save. Habakkuk is frustrated with God. He is complaining to God, almost yelling at God. And there are times when we don't understand what God is up to because God is a, has a big personality. And the Lord is kind of hard to figure out sometimes because our ways are not his ways. And rather just, well, Lord, whatever you think is best. There are times when our lives don't make sense. And if we're going to have a true close relationship with God that is growing, we need to be able to tell him the truth about when we are frustrated and even when we are frustrated with him. Look here at verse 12. Oh, Lord, my God, Habakkuk says, my Holy One, you who are eternal, so far so good. Is your plan in all this to wipe us out? There are times in our own history, in our country's history, in the history of your life, where it feels like God is absent. And sometimes we're afraid to say so, and afraid to say so to God. Where are you? Where have you been? Chapter 2. So he's going to wait on God here. I will climb up to my watchtower now and wait to see what the Lord will say to me and how he will answer my complaint. And listen carefully to how the Lord responds to Habakkuk. So he goes up to wait. That's important. When we voice our complaint to God, it's important that we just not just complain and leave or yell at God or, or get frustrated and just walk out of the room. That makes no sense. Share your frustration with God and then wait. Go to your watchtower, whatever you want to call it, and listen and wait. And here's how God answers. Then the Lord said to me, Write my answer in large, clear letters on a tablet so that a runner can read it and tell everyone else. It's got to be big. If you're running with it, you can still read it. But these things I plan won't happen right away. Slowly, steadily, surely, the time approaches when the vision will be fulfilled. If it seems slow, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. And then he addresses one of the complaints. Habakkuk is saying here that uh, the, the evil people are prospering and the just are suffering. Look at the proud, God says. They trust in themselves and their lives are crooked. But the righteous, the just, will live by their faith. Now, the Apostle Paul, 600 years later, picks up on this verse. And it's sort of a centerpiece of his thinking. Martin Luther, in the Protestant Reformation of the 1500s, picks up on this, and it becomes the center point of his theology. So a lot of great stuff came out of Habakkuk being honest with God. We wouldn't have this fantastic verse, the just shall live by faith, if we didn't have Habakkuk getting honest with God and then waiting for the response and receiving what God had to say. So this is so important, people. We all want our relationship with God to grow. For that to happen, two things have to happen. Number one, be completely honest with God about how we're feeling about him, whether it's good or bad. Number two, sit back and wait and listen. And some powerful things might be coming your way. That's the good news for today. And I will talk to you again tomorrow.